Um, when when I had to take that time off, I I think that forfeited my you know my right to be a leader. So and then me and Coach Cal sat down and talked, and he asked me what I thought I needed to do for the team. And you know me being a point guard, I said being a leader, and he was like, that's not what it is. It's just me going out there and playing hard and doing what I need to do to help the team. So that, that that's my way of leading. It's just you know going out there playing hard and you know, doing everything that the team needs me to do. You feel like you have that right back, though, now? I mean, you feel um, like you've earned, earned back the chance to, you know, to talk to guys, to, to push guys because you're you're out there pushing with them? Um, yeah, but I still feel like, you know, with me taking all that time off, that I need to be listening to them more. And I'm playing well, but, you know, they, I think they still have more of a right than I do. Cal said, you know, he talked to you after the game and said, you know, now where do we go from here? And Rick Pitino said, as good as you are, that he still thinks you can be a lot better. What, what's the next step for you? Um, just keep working, doing the extra work. I think that's what helped me the most. You know, I've been doing extra work with coaches, and I've had um, a family friend come down from Atlanta two times a week to help me work out at night. And I've had friends be in the gym with me late at night. So I think the extra work is – what I need the most because I you see I could play 39 minutes I might get a little winded but you had those TV timeouts and I, I could play the defense it's just you know making sure that I keep everything you know right who was the, who was the coach that you guys were working with you said that kind of, uh, Alex would be working off coming off picks and stuff we, like that. we work with coach Cal coach Cal directly yeah coach Cal worked with us one-on-one -on -one. what's his mood like in those kind of workouts um, it's like actually real encouraging. Like, you know, he's telling you how good you're doing and if you make a mistake, he'll try to correct it for you, but he's telling you how good, you know, it looks when you do it and, you know, how it's gonna work in the game and things like that. That sounds different from the Cal and the practice Cal. Uh, yeah, I think Coach Cal in practice has to be like hard on you to get us to, you know, go harder in practice so that we get our heart rate up to what it is in the games. He wants the practices to be harder than the games. And, and, you, and the, what you said about Alex made it sound like maybe Alex is a sensitive person, which is nothing wrong with being a sensitive person. I wouldn't say sensitive. It's just, you know, Coach Kyle is different than any coach that I've ever came up against. And I'm sure he's a different coach that Alex has ever had. And, you know, being in high school, if your coach was to talk to you like that, you'll be like, you know, who are you talking to? <laughs> you basically need me in high school. In college, you can't do that. You have to listen to everything he says, and you have to, you know, take it in and try to change yourself for the best. It sounds like Alex is taking it the wrong way right now. I, I think that's what it is. You know, the screaming and stuff, it kind of gets to you. But In what way? What do you mean by that? Um, How are you just taking like, it the wrong way? Just like I said, just... You know, you like never had game. anybody scream at you before in a basketball game because in high school and AAU, you were just so good and you basically could do whatever you want to. So no, no coach was going to scream at you. But when a, when a coach screams at you now, like, and he means business, like, he'll actually take you out or he'll actually make a fool of you. So. Has yeah. Alex, have you talked to Alex about how uh, to, you know? Here's what he means when he's yelling. Yeah, I tell him all the time, like, don't listen to, you know, <laughs> how he's screaming at you. Listen to, you know, what he's saying. Because Alex could be the best p player in, you know, college basketball because he has the physical attributes, he's skilled, and he could just be a beast. But, you know, he, he's holding himself back. That's hard to do, isn't it? If, if, I'm, if you're yelling at me, I, my natural reaction would be to be mad at you uh, yelling at me. Yeah, I mean, I had a hard time with it at first, but you know, you just you gotta change. If you if you're not gonna change to better yourself, then you you hurt yourself and you hurt in the team. The stuff at the free throw line. Did you know what was going on with uh, Nerlens? And I might have talked about it before with Nerlens and Alex and who was supposed to shoot and that kind of thing. Did you have any idea what was happening? Nah, well, I, I don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> right now. So Did you look at the video at all? Not not that part. So. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you think when uh, Alex figures it out and changes, all of a sudden the light bulb will go on for him? Uh, definitely. Once Alex changes and he's doing the extra work now, you're going to see a, a totally different player. You know, 
being able to stay out on the floor longer, dominating like he can do and everything like that. Is he, does he know what is, re, is wanted from him as, as far as a role goes? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. I look at him and I get the feeling, that is he comfortable with his niche um, where he fits in? Uh, yeah, everybody knows their role. Coach Cal makes that clear to everybody. So What's his? What um, is he supposed to be doing? You know, being a, a good rebounder on the offensive and defensive end, you know, on a fast break, spraying up the floor hard and then, you know, getting the ball and making one move and getting to the basket and, you know, jump stopping and making a strong move at the basket, trying to dunk everything, um, having good body posture, you know, not looking down all the time and just playing hard on defense. I, mean, fans, I think the fans are thinking that does Alex care? He's not playing hard. Oh, yeah, uh, Alex cares. And, you know, he gets mad, you know, when coach talks to him and he gets mad when we're talking to him. So he, he cares. It's just that's, that's his demeanor, you know. He's just a, a chill guy, so he's not going to show too much emotion. How hard is it to change? Like, what did it take for you?